Are you coming to Bond Air to shore dive? Do you plan on diving soft coral garden? Would you like some tips and tricks to make your Bon Air shore diving experience easier and more enjoyable? Well, that's what we're talking about in this video. And we're doing it right now. Hey folks, Liz and Kevin here at Soft Coral Garden, a beautiful site on the southern coast here in Bonaire, and you're just going to love it. And as the name implies, it is full of soft coral. And we're gonna tell you all about it in this and another of our series of videos on the different shore dives on Bonaire. We're gonna show you the best place to enter the water, best place to exit the water, give you the lay of the land outside of the water, and if conditions allow, Liz will actually demonstrate that entry and exit. So if you like these type of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and also, how about taking a giant stride on our subscribe button and then make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be made aware of when we have new content for you to enjoy. But right now, it's all about soft coral garden and it's a hidden gem, it really is. It's a beautiful site full of soft coral. And what's great about this site is if you want to dive the dive site Sweet Dreams, which is a very popular dive site here on Bonaire, but you'd rather have it all to yourself when you get to that dive site and there are a few other trucks there, you can come on down to Soft Coral Garden or even further to the next dive site down Hidden Beach. We've got a video on that right here. And dive this site and have a very similar experience. We've got a video also telling you how to find these dive sites. I'll link that up as well. But come on down to Soft Coral Garden, dive it, because you're absolutely gonna love it, especially if you love soft coral. So sea fans, sea whips, sea plumes, gorgonians. If you like that forest-like atmosphere, those places where turtles really like to hang out, we can probably guarantee you that here. Um, oftentimes arrays as well, but it's a beautiful site. The slope of the reef is not very steep at all. It kind of gradually slopes down. There's a ridge around 40, 45 feet. That's a very nice sweet spot to dive this dive site. The shallows are awesome. Make sure you save some areas so you can spend time with the shallows towards the end of your dive. But it is a beautiful site. Marine life is here is great too. I know Liz loves it. I really love all the marine life here. Um, the shallows I think are my favorite, but there are around the reef, there's some great marine life. There's uh, rock beauties, parrotfish, queen angel fish, French angel fish, um, trumpet fish. But I really feel like the shallows are, are great to spend a good amount of time swimming around there. If you look across the sand, you can see turtles occasionally, you can see rays. Uh, you can look around if you're into macro photography, looking for the anemones, looking for little cleaner shrimp, little crabs around. Um, it's really great to just spend some time swimming around and do some exploring in the shallows. Uh, so that's what I really like about this one. It really is great. And I'll tell you another thing that if you get super lucky when you're on this site or the sites in this stretch, there's a resident pot of dolphins that kind of circle the island. And uh, two or three times I've been at the different dive sites in here and been lucky enough to be diving when that pot of dolphin swims by, so always make sure you look to the blue or keep that ear open to listen for the sounds of those dolphins. So you never know, cannot promise you that, but hopefully you'll see those as well. But listen, Soft Coral Garden's a great dive site. You gotta come dive it. Right now though, we're gonna take a look at the land side of Soft Coral Garden, then we'll take a look at the entry. Okay, let's take a look at the lay of the land here at Soft Coral Garden. We've had a lot of rain lately and in between the coast road and the ocean uh, a lot of dive sites have water in them that's not uncommon especially places like Margaret bay but down this way further south uh, you typically do not have water uh, as you'll notice from the video on how to find the site we were able to pull all the way up uh, to the shoreline but not to worry we can still dive this site so if you come to soft coral garden and you find that there's water in between the road and the dive site don't fret just back down here. It's close to the road, there's plenty of place to park. That's not a problem at all. And then you'll just walk out uh, to the ocean and to the dive site. So let's do that right now and look at that entry. Okay, folks, you will need your walking stick for this. You can see the coral rubble here. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I would not dive this dive site right now. A uh, little too much wave action. You can, 
Uh, it's not that it's incredibly dangerous, but that's a lot of wave action to swim against. And you're gonna see when we approach the water that it's very cloudy, it's silted up, and it's hard to see where you're stepping. So for uh, that reason, in my opinion, I would not dive the site when the conditions look like this. Wait till the waves are a little bit lower. But let's show you those entries. I'm gonna show you two. You can come straight on in here. And I would come to the right of this boulder we see right here. And you can see the boulder right past it, there's a pretty darn good step down into the water. Uh, it's probably a foot uh, step down, if not a little bit more. So you definitely need your walking stick to balance yourself. Then it's ruddy in there. You can't really see once again because of the wave action, uh, but you'll need to use your stick to get to where you can float and put your fins on. You might see some dark dots out there. That's some Elkhorn coral, so make sure you look out for that on your swim out. I would angle out uh, south to the left there. Then once you get to the blue, uh, make sure you take a good compass heading back to this boulder, um, find your good navigational marker, then swim on back uh, after your dive. But once again, take a look in a little bit when the sun's higher above, you might be able to see this area better. But for me, uh, at this point in time, I would not dive it. Let's take a look at the other place I like to enter. And sometimes, depending on where you can park, it's gonna be down here. When you can park over this area, see this boulder that's further out to the water? I like to enter there. Okay, here's our second entry point. Um, I like this one, you've got this big boulder, you can use it to steady yourself. Even though you have your walking stick, you can kinda put it against that or lean against it if you need to, if, if you're wearing a full suit. But there's a good step down in between it. it. Reminds me a little bit of Andrea 1, where you've got some holes that you can use to your advantage. But once you get past the boulder, there is a step down. It's not quite as far, it tapers off a little bit here. And even further to the left, there's not, the step down is even further down. But once you step down, still have some holes, um, still need to walk out to get to where you can float to put your fins on. But once again, I'm, I, I would not dive it during these conditions, and I recommend that you shouldn't either uh, if you get here and it looks like this. There are plenty of other great sites, and Margaret Bay up the road should be calmer, uh, and anything in between Pink Beach and the lake should be much calmer for you when the conditions are like this. But hopefully, in a little bit, they're gonna be better. So let's go find Liz, and she'll show us how to enter and exit here at Soft Coral Garden. Hey folks, as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, the, the conditions at the dive site today just were not ideal for diving. Um, I recommended you not dive them when they look that way, and they never got better uh, today or later in the week. So we did not get to dive the site, so I could not have Liz demonstrate the entry and the exit. I'm not gonna put her at risk, just like I don't want you to be at risk. So I apologize we didn't get to include that in the video. Hopefully the tips uh, we provided so far have been helpful. If they did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. Uh, and also leave us a comment. But once again, I didn't want Liz to have to do the entry and the exit and the conditions uh, as they are. Hope that's okay with you. So for now, we're gonna gear up, get in, and somewhere else, we'll see you at the next dive site.